Here is a list of values in sheet data on sheet pivot table. There is a pivot table connected to this data here. And there are two problems with it. a pivot table. The first one is that each time you add data here, and I'll show you what I mean. Each time I add or edit data here, the pivot table needs to be, uh, the data source has to be changed each time you, the list grows. And to do that, click on a cell on the pivot table and then go to tab analyze on the ribbon and click change data source and this allows you to select a new range a bigger range and then click on the ok button and now you can see that there is a new client and a new date What you have to do is to convert this data set into an Excel defined table. And to do that, click on a cell in this table here. And then go to tab insert on the ribbon and click table button. And this table here has headers shown up here. Click OK. And now it is an Excel defined table. And if you now add data to this table, like this. the Excel defined table expands. You can see it's now included here. And let's check the data source. And it is now, has now expanded one row. And you didn't have to do anything to do this except that you still need to refresh the pivot table and to do that right click on a on a cell and then click refresh here and now you can see the last data row so what can you do to refresh this pivot table automatically Go to tab developer and click the visual basic button or press the shortcut keys alt f11 and then this window appears and in this case I want to refresh the pivot table here whenever you edit data on the data sheet. And to do that, double click on the data sheet. Copy the VBA code from the web my website. And paste it here. And 
the first name here is the sheet name where the pivot table is and then the pivot table name and then since the this event code is on a sheet module for sheet or data it will and the worksheet change event is here uh, this will refresh the pivot table whenever a cell has been changed on sheet data so make sure you change these names here accordingly to your workbook and now let's go back to sheet data and add a new record and now when I go to sheet pivot table you can now see that the last record shows up and you didn't have to do anything.